Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Fulham nil, Chelsea 2, final whistle. Massive win, massive win. This is really a big victory uh, for Chelsea. A comfortable and calm evening for Chelsea. It has pretty much has ended in the first in the first couple of 20 minutes, I think. In 20 minutes, Chelsea scored two goals. And after that, just Fulham just did not show up in this match. No threat, no pressing, nothing from Fulham in this game. Chelsea were really comfortable. I thought they played well today. But you have to speak about Fulham. You have to speak about Fulham. The fact that they've they've struggled uh, throughout 90 minutes. I think this is probably one of their worst performances uh, in the Premier League. I've never seen them uh, play this bad. I mean, I'm not trying to take credit away from Chelsea. I thought Chelsea looked decent. Uh, we've spoken about performances and not getting the wins. Uh, but it was a comfortable win today. They played well and a balance of the team looked looked as good as it looked. I mean, you, you saw the game. Uh, Fulham, like I mentioned, were below par, but Chelsea had to deal with a lot of different issues, injuries, but there were some really uh, good individual and collective uh, moments in this game. So hats off to Chelsea. They needed this. They desperately needed this three points and they've got it. Uh, but what's next now for Fulham? Fulham's next match in the Premier League clash against uh, Sheffield United on Saturday, October the 7th. And meanwhile, Chelsea will face Burnley uh, also on Saturday. So it's going to be interesting to see how Chelsea perform uh, against another opponent. Fulham were not good today, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely see if Chelsea are officially back in the next five games. If they can win the next five games, if they can actually show performance togetherness in the next uh, five games, then we can say Chelsea are definitely back. But just looking at this game, it's hard to say that they're fully back, but it's a decent performance, decent performance. Uh, let's just quickly take a look at the table here. So this is how the table looks uh, right now. After this win, uh, win, Chelsea are now 11th, played seven games. They've gotten eight points, Manchester United, seven games played, nine points. So the difference between United and Chelsea is just one. You could imagine, you could imagine after starting the season really, really poorly, Chelsea, uh, they pretty much next to Manchester United. I'm not saying like Manchester United have started this season well, but they're getting closer, they're getting better. But with one game, let's just not decide and say they are fully back. Let's just not decide and say they are fully back. But uh, Modric looked good. He scored in this game. Borja is another striker who basically replaced um, Jackson up front. And he did well. He got lucky on the goal, but he looked like a proper center forward. Uh, it's a lucky goal he scored. But he, the way he was holding up the play, they were missing that. They were missing that. I don't think Jackson is that guy. I don't think he's a proper number nine. Jackson could be used in a wide position, but I don't think he's a center forward. And I don't think he is the guy to move Chelsea forward. But today, uh, Borja, I think he, he did well and got his goal, lucky goal, but got his goal. That must have given him uh, some sort of confidence in the next games. Uh, Raheem Sterling benched in this game, came off in the second half. I haven't really seen him in the second half. I think Chelsea pretty much in the second half to just relaxed and just control the game really they didn't want to go forward they were just they just killed the game off to be honest with you so nothing really to say about Sterling but uh, I think he's gonna have to fight now to be in the starting 11 I don't think he will start against Burnley next week or, or on Saturday so he's gonna have to fight uh, to start that game but all in all good performances from Chelsea uh, collectively and individually do let me know your man of the match in the comment sections. I would I would give it to Enzo Fernandez. I think he did well. He played really well in the first half, trying to control and, and create chances uh, for the forwards. So I would give it to Enzo Fernandez. Do let me know who was your man of the match in the comment sections. As always, make sure to smash the like button video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. But yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.